Hey guys, we're up again, back today, bringing on a video for our Blueprint Weapon Series. Here we're covering the Sergeant Griggs Bundle here, which is available in shop for 2,400 COD points. Mainly, we're going to be looking at the Operator, the War Pig Assault Rifle Blueprint, and the Ultimatum Blueprint. So you can see with this bundle, 2,400 COD points available today here at the tail end of Season 6. And we get the Operator Griggs finally here introduced in Season 6. We saw him originally in the promos for the beginning of the season on the posters. So he gets the Operator skin called Sarge. We also get the War Pig blueprint for the M4 here, turning it into an M16. We also get the Ultimatum submachine gun for the MP5, turning it into the MP510 variation. And then we get the Auxiliary Melee, the Griggs Charm Step Aside Finishing Move, and the Crush Sticker. We also get the Cool As You Like It calling card, Fighting in the War Room calling card, and the Bad Dog Emblem. So that's what you get with this for 2400 COD points. Let's go ahead now and we will back out and take a look at the actual bundle itself. So first off, let's go ahead and go out and look at Griggs. So here I am in the custom lobby. So the, the menus are a little bit different than what they updated in multiplayer and in Warzone. You still have the factions here. If you weren't aware in multiplayer and Warzone, they took away the factions. So everybody's on one faction. But here, uh, hopefully they keep this because I love this screen where you can see your two operators they have selected per faction. But let's take a look at Griggs here. You can see we can preview him so again very nice tactical looking he fits right in with the demon dogs here which is a faction that he's supposed to be in and you can see it he's still here in the custom game so again he's got that play kit nice looking plate carrier he's got the helmet with the nod mount there but no nods um if we go ahead and just turn him around here we can see he's got his comms on his front there and on his left hand shoulder he's got the battery pack for his nods and i believe the uh strobe lights on the back of his helmet and you can see that cords are going up to where the the uh, nods are mounted there on the right hand side covered up by the american flag sticker so he does have the optics and cords and everything there for mounts for excuse me for the nods just, just not attached to the mount and we also have he's got the knee pads boots again nice looking plate carrier and a little little uh camel pack on the back for his backpack so pretty nice looking skin unfortunately we don't have different variations of the skin typically they've been releasing operators and you can do challenges to release new skins or unlock new variations of the skin for them new outfits but not in the, with this one so hopefully we will see different ones coming for him in the future and again you can see here i'll show his uh finishing move before we jump into the gameplay just because you can't preview anything anymore to my knowledge it looks like you can no longer preview any of the finishing moves i think they changed that with the update maybe it's a glitch or something but i'll show you what that looks like uh, before we jump into the actual gameplay with the weapon. So let's go ahead and jump into the weapon blueprints here. First off, the War Pig here for the M16. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll strip this down to base. And you can see what this looks like stripped of all the attachments. So again, look, pretty neat looking blueprint. Uh, it's more of a, a silver and black mix here. We have that black windowed PMAG there as well. So for the barrel, we're going to go with the Corpus Custom Marksman. So again, this is one of the M16 barrels available here in game. For the A4, you can see there in the description. Now, the pros here being the damage range, bullet velocity, and the recoil control. The cons are going to be the ADS speed and the movement speed for this one. So, we'll go ahead and select that. Skip out on the laser. And then for the optic, we're going to want the LCAN or the Scout Combat Optic here. And uh, actually, you know what? I believe we're actually... I lied. We're going to want the Cronin Pro. So, this is, this is the optic that comes with the blueprint. And uh, again, it's going to be very similar to the LCAN, just a 3.25 magnification. The only con, again, is the aim down sight speed for the weapons. You can see the, the Cronin Pro versus the versus the Scout Combat. So very similar. The Scout Combat more so resembles the Alcan. And then this is the one. I didn't even realize both of these were available for the M4. But now I, now I guess you know. So zoom level. And then the con here being the ADS speed. So we'll select that. Stock, we're going to want the Ford's Tax CQS. So again, this is a different blueprint variation giving us that typical M4 adjustable telescope telescopic butt stock there the pros being the ads speed and the aim and stability would be the con there so we'll go ahead and select that now for the ammunition we're going to want that 50 round magazine so it's going to extend us from 30 rounds of the 556 by 45 to 50 rounds so we're going to increase the magazine capacity the cons is we're adding the extra 50 rounds or excuse me 20 rounds to the magazine there are going to be the ads speed and the movement speed for the weapon so we'll select that and then the underbarrel we have a nice unique attachment here we're going to go ahead and select the Ranger foregrip. And you can see there, hopefully it's not a, a bug. I'm sure it's not. We have a different Ranger foregrip than what's depicted and what's typically on the M4. So you'll notice this is typically what you see on different variations of the M13 and some other weapons. So I believe this is a Magpul uh, underbarrel grip there. 
Um, and again, you can see how it differs from the default and all the other ones there. So you can see we get a nice, different, unique looking underbrow attachment for the Merc, for the Ranger foregrip here. That looks pretty nice in my opinion here in the M4. It's about time. I think this is the first time we've had that variation of the Ranger foregrip on the M4. So that's the final design there. Turn it into an M16A3, I believe, because we're still full auto. Now the gunsmith here for the muzzle. Again, this is the MP5. Turn it into the MP510. So let me go ahead and strip this down. This is the ultimatum blueprint. So the muzzle here, you can see what it looks like at base. Very similar to the... It's actually the exact same as the heat cycle, just different color schema. So we'll go ahead and have the muzzle. It's going to come with the lightweight suppressor. So sound suppression, the cons of the damage at range. I believe you lose about 25% damage at range on this. So just keep that in mind if you're going on... Uh, longer range engagements and you'll see it kind of let me down there uh, in some of the gameplay just some uh, what I would consider medium range engagements where this just doesn't do the damage because of the lightweight suppressor make definitely dropping off that damage range there so we'll select that gonna leave the base barrel and skip out on the laser now for the optic we're gonna want we're gonna want that that offshoot American EOTech so we're gonna want a PBX hollow 7 sight so again this is an advanced holographic sight for the American Orange so very similar to the EOTech just a little bit different and uh, the pros being position sight picture with cons ADS speed. This is one of those one and a half times magnification, so it's gonna it's gonna slow down your ADS speed at about a frame and a half. So again, it's negligible, you're not really gonna notice it whatsoever. So we'll select that. Now for the stock, we're gonna want that FSS close quarter stock that's gonna assist with the ADS speed, the cons being the aiming stability. Then we're gonna want the 10 millimeter round. So this is gonna convert this from an MP5 to an MP510. So it's gonna the pros are gonna be the damage and the range. Cons are going to be the fire rate and the recoil control because we're firing a larger round, so we'll select that. Then the final attachment here for the underbarrel, we're going to want that Merc foregrip. So this is going to assist with the recoil control and the hip fire accuracy, the cons being the aim walking movement speed and the ADS speed. And again, because we are firing a little bit larger of a round there, it's going to help with that recoil control a little bit, which is definitely a key advantage here for the Merc foregrip as well as the hip fire. So that's the final design. Now, really quick, let's go ahead and jump out and see. We'll go into more detail, but here is this, the same weapons just at base with the same attachment. So you can see how different they look. If I swap, swap back and forth, you can see the blueprints here available with the Griggs pack and what they look like at base. So some pretty distinct differences here. Uh, mainly, you can see, I think the barrel for the MP5 is going to be definitely different as well as the blueprint overall. It gives it a new pistol grip and everything like that. You can see... So it's one. It's very similar to the heat cycle blueprint versus uh, what we see here with the base MP5. And if I were going going to go into these and look at the different blueprints available, you can see uh, here's our ultimatum. And then if I go ahead and find our heat cycle blueprint, you can see it's essentially the same thing, right? Just a bit different of a color schema is really the main difference there. So. We still have that sling mount there as well. So very, very similar weapons uh, to the heat cycle and some of their blueprints. Now, just some cool things about the weapon we have just for the, we have basically, like I said, a black, red, and a silverish or a gray uh, color schema to the weapon. You'll see the American flag, as well as I want to say it's the Marine Corps. It's hard to get a good look at it there. I believe it's the Marine Corps logo there on the top of the buttstock where the cheek crest is. And again, we have an American flag on the right-hand side of the optic there as well for the Corona Pro optic. Other than that, the blueprint looks very, very much the same. There's some slight differences. It looks like the uh, looks like some some minor changes to the right hand side of the weapon here. I can't really put my finger on it. Looks like the uh, quick release maybe a little bit different things like that, but minor changes. And then again, the main thing here is the underbarrel attachment for that. And then for the MP5, like I said. Very similar to the heat cycle. Um, again, just the same. You have the Marine Corps logo, what it looks like there. I can't really get a close up view. And we have the American flag, as well as what looks like the. I can't tell what the symbol really is on the uh, strap there, but again, probably a Demon Dogs logo or something like that. But you can see overall a pretty nice looking blueprint. Now, one cool thing if we were to back out, if I were to create a just a offshoot M4 here, we'll go ahead and go. At base, we'll just start with the, uh, why don't we start with, let's see if we find a good one here. We can go with the fair brass. So if I go ahead and strip this really quick, we can build something pretty neat with this. We'll go ahead and do, do the barrel. We'll go ahead with a 14 and a half inch and we'll go with the zip tie laser. Why don't we throw a tack laser on that bad boy and the optic. We'll go ahead and do maybe a four time. We'll do a combat hollow. 
And then for the underbarrel, we'll go ahead and do the new Ranger foregrip that we get here with the war pig. Go ahead and do that. And then really you can use whatever other attachment you would want here uh, for yourself. I think it looks pretty good with the salt mod, but or the salt stock, but let's see here. Try and find a good one. I think right there, that like that's a pretty pretty nice looking M4 that you can build with this. That that Ranger foregrip looks beautiful on this weapon. I like that a lot. And again, that's a really nice tactical looking M4. So that's a nice advantage of this blueprint. You get a nice looking different Ranger foregrip here uh, versus all the other ones available for the M4. So go ahead now and we'll go ahead and back out and just show you what these ones look like with camouflages on them. So you can see there, it's going to cover most of the weapon, but not all. It kind of looks a little weird with the way the camo covers us. I'm sure that's probably on purpose. Basically the whole lower um, in the barrel and, and the buttstock are covered, but part of that upper receiver doesn't get covered by the... Uh, by the camouflage there and if we do the same with the mp510 we'll go ahead and look at the camos there so this really covers i think more it looks like basically everything you would expect with the camo so i'm not sure if the m4 is a glitch there but you can see the mp510 looks much better with the camouflages selected so that's the sergeant griggs bundle and the war pig and the ultimatum blueprint jump into the gameplay here just playing a local game here against bots just trying to show off the weapons i believe we're here on azure cave and Again, just showing off the weapons and how they handle. You can see they are tracer packs, so it's going to fire basically in dismemberment as well. So it's going to fire kind of like a, a red and goldish type tracer you'll see here with both weapons, which is pretty neat. I'm not a big fan personally of the tracers. I feel like it's definitely good to see where your bullets are going and how far you're missing if you're trying to lead targets like that. But in some engagements, I feel that the, uh, the muzzle blast as well as just the impact on your target, depending on your range, is going to obstruct your view. So you just got to be cautious of that. With these blueprints but again overall for 2400 cod points i would say my personal opinion is that the bundle unless you're a sergeant griggs fan really isn't worth it but the takeaways from this are you get a really good operator here with sergeant griggs and i think again he looks pretty pretty milsim war or demon dogish to me typically what you would expect with that faction here on the coalition side so i really like that again it has a very very uh Reminiscent of like the 13 hour movie and just those type of operators um, in 13 hours very 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 Delta and rugged looking and again not full full military tactical you were typically wearing jeans t-shirts things like that um, Fits in really well with the demon dogs now again the war pig m4 not not my favorite at all I'm never gonna run this. I don't like it, um, but I do like the ranger foregrip I like this really well on some of these weapons and I think it looks very good on what we can do with Frankensmithing. So the, to me, that's that's a big takeaway for this. Those are really my only pros here. Um, other than that, I think the MP510 blueprint, again, unless you're a fan of the color schema, it's very similar to the heat cycle and other things like that. So not the biggest fan of anything else, but I would say the operator himself, awesome. And the range of foregrip that you get with Frankensmithing here for the M4 is definitely a good thing that you can apply to other weapons blueprints as well. So that's really nice to see. Um, other than that, like I said, unless you're a huge fan of Sergeant Griggs, I don't really think this is worth 2,400 COD points. But again, if you're somebody that's new to the game, you don't have all of the attachments unlocked for these two weapons in particular, then in that case, it's definitely a good takeaway because you do get some really good, I would say, high-end attachments for these two weapons as well as a new operator, which is nice to see. So let me know down below what you think of the Sergeant Griggs operator bundle. Again, the crimson and gold tracer weapons here available with the war pig and the ultimatum for the m4 slash m16 build as well as the mp510 so 2400 cloud points let me know down below do you think it's worth it are you a fan of the sergeant Grig as the operator are you a fan of the blueprint weapons that they got with this personally i'm a i like i said i love the sarge skin for sergeant Griggs. however i would really have liked to see more milsim type weapon blueprints for these um i know in cod 4 Griggs typically ran an M249 saw. It would have been nice to see him with a saw blueprint. Or at least a, I would say, like a Daniel Defense Mil Milsim style M4A1. It would be really nice to see with a, with a Daniel Defense uh, handguard and some things like that. I think that's kind of a missed opportunity. However, um, I know they do recycle a lot of the blueprints and do different color schemes. And they did add quite a bit, I believe 15 more uh, shop items to the college tracker. So we do have some, I would say one in particular... Really good one coming for Bayo with a really nice skin. Looks very reminiscent of Tachanka from Rainbow Six Siege. As well as it looks like the FSB bundle is still there in the college tracker. However, the logo for it or the the title card for it has changed. But the uh, the items inside the bundle do look the same so far. So that may go to reason uh, for what we predicted. That perhaps that 
bundle is being fixed up. Maybe we'll see some sort of Zeneco style AK-47 introduced there with the FSB bail alpha. So we'll have to wait and see for that. Hopefully that comes this season. Again, we have about, what, two and a half weeks left in the season at this point. Um, however, some more information due to some data miners. I know our, our buddy Big Mike over there um, was able to extract some things. It looks like we're going to get the, the Scorpion Evo as well as the new machine gun in 308 Norma from Sig Sauer. So stay tuned for that. And that's again, that's on top of what looks like to be coming for the uh, the Makarov pistol. So nothing confirmed yet. Again, just found the data files um, from what I'm seeing online. I won't show anything here, but go ahead and check that out. If you just do a simple search online or on Twitter, I'm sure you'll be able to find it. Um, nothing confirmed, but I think that's pretty exciting. Hopefully I'm still holding out for a G28. It'd be really nice to see that. Um, coming to the game here and again we'll have to wait and see we're in we're in kind of uncharted waters here with black ops cold war launching later this week in two days at this point here and uh it's yet to be determined whether we're going to have a season seven or what it's going to look like after season six wraps up are we just going to get a plethora of content added because we know we're going to be having the the assimilation of the war or cold war weapons into Warzone in early december so it stands a reason that there's they're obviously going to be adding more weapons uh and with new weapons here found in the game files as well, what's going to be coming after that? They're going to just add a lot more weapons coming to the game, or is there actually going to be a Season 7? What's the content going to look like after? Let me know down below what you guys think, what you want to see left in this game. I'm going to leave you guys with a gameplay. And again, let me know down below what you think of this bundle overall, what you're excited to see in the rest of Season 6 here, and what you expect from Season 7 or whatever it looks like after Season 6. There's definitely going to be more support. Let me know down below what you guys think of this and what you expect to see. So again, leave you guys with this. This is the Sergeant Griggs Bundle, and I'm Buffner Gaming. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.